Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up and use Electrum Wallet for beginners. So before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So how do you actually set up and use the Electrum Bitcoin Wallet? Well, it's actually pretty simple, but we need to access some website here and install the application itself. So to do that, we first have to go to Electrum.org and from here, you should be able to see their homepage. Now from the homepage, what we need to do is we need to look for the download section. So typically it's going to be located at the top section here next to the home link. So let's go ahead and just click on download. Now from here, you should be able to see some things here. So in this case, you should see the source and binaries installation from Python sources. Now in this case, I would suggest you to use the source and binaries here and choose the appropriate one. So for example, if you have Linux or Mac OS or Android, make sure to choose the appropriate one here. Like for example, for Android, you have 64-bit and 32-bit here. Now in this case, if you have Windows, which is 8.1 and higher. So if you have Windows 7, I would suggest you to upgrade your PC first before using it so that you'll be using 8.1 here. So in this case, I actually am using Windows 10 here. So what we need to do is we need to choose the appropriate one. So I will actually be using the Windows installer here to make it a lot easier for me. But if you want to use the standalone executable or the portable version here, which is security advice here, you could go ahead and do that. But for now, I want to use Windows installer. Okay, go ahead and click on it. It's going to download the installer for me. Now at the top right here, let's go ahead and open up the .exe file here. Once it's actually finished, you should see a folder here. So let's just wait for it and click on that folder. Now from here, it should pop up this folder here. So let's go ahead and click on Electrum here to start the installation and just click on yes if it requests any further permission. Now on the next page, it's going to ask you where you want to install or uh, make a location for Electrum. So if you want to change this one, you could go ahead, but I'm going to use the program files folder here. So let's go ahead and click on install here and it's going to start the installation process. Now the process itself is actually fairly fast depending on your PC and it's actually quite a small program if you're going to ask me. So in this case, it might take some a few minutes or a few seconds depending on the process itself. But for now, let's just wait for it to finish and we should be able to see the next page. Now from here, as you can see, it is now, it has completed installation. In this case, let's go ahead and click on close here, but make sure that you have the completed uh, pop-up here first. But for now, let's just click on close and that should actually complete the installation. Now, in this case, what we need to do next is we need to look for the Electrum icon here since we just recently installed it. So let's go ahead and double click on it to open up the Electrum application here. Now, in this case, it should give you this option here. So it's going to say Electrum Bitcoin Wallet. So in this case, you could go ahead and just click on next here. But if you want to use the advanced network settings, you could go ahead and configure your proxy, select server if you want to as well. But for now, we don't want to use that and just click on next. Now from here, it's going to ask you the name of your wallet. So you have the default wallet here. So maybe I want to say I want to name this as uh, this wallet here. Uh, this is going to be an example. You could basically uh, use whatever name here that you want. Now in this case, uh, the file does not exist. So if we actually click next here, it's going to create that file for us. So let's go ahead and click on next here to uh, create that. And it's going to ask what kind of wallet do you want to create? Now a standard wallet here is from the name itself. It's just going to be a ordinary wallet. But you also have the option here to choose a two-factor authentication or wallet with a two-factor authentication, meaning your wallet would have two-factor two authentication, which in this case is added security to your wallet because we, if you want to uh, really save your uh, account and not have it exposed or make sure that you, you, you're not getting hacked or anything, you could go ahead and do that or use this wallet with two-factor authentication. Now, I also have the multi-signature wallet here and the option to import Bitcoin addresses or private keys if you have them. But in this case, since we want to create a new wallet here, you can go ahead and either choose the standard wallet here or the wallet with two-factor authentication. 
Now, in this case, it's going to next ask you, do you want to create a new uh, seed or store a wallet using an existing seed? Now, first, what is a seed? Now, a seed is a set of phrases that you need to save and not share with anyone. Now, seeds are going to be used to uh, basically restore a wallet just in case you lose access on it or uh, a way for you to access your account just in case something went wrong on your PC and you're unable to access your PC again. Now, in this case, you have the create new seed or if you already have a seed here, choose this one and just enter the seed that you have or if you have a master key or a hardware device. So if you're not aware, there are going to be hardware devices that you could store your crypto or your bitcoin ad so if you have those you could go ahead and choose that but if you don't have any of those you can just click on the create new seed here and hit on next now on the next page you should be able to see your seed so in this case i would suggest you to make sure that you highlight your seed here copy it and save it somewhere now it is suggested that you actually add or copy your seed into uh on a paper so do not save it electronically so in this case i would suggest you to write it in some book or some paper that you uh, have to save so again never share your seed here to anyone so never type it on any website and do not store it electronically now in this case once you have it you could go ahead and just click on next here and from here it's going to say your seed is important if you lose a uh, seed your money will be permanently lost so make sure that you have the seed property saved so please retype your seed here so in this case i would suggest you to uh, go back here copy your seed and go back again to confirm your seed here so let's just confirm our seed here now on the next page it's going to ask you to enter a password for your wallet so in this case this will be used to encrypt your wallet so leave these empty if you want to disable encryption now i would actually suggest you to put a password into your wallet so let's go ahead and just enter an appropriate wallet or a password here now once you've added your a wallet or your uh, address or your password it should give you this pop-up here so for security reasons we advise you to use the latest version of electrum so would you like to be notified of a newer version of electrum available so in this case i would actually uh, actually suggest you to use yes here so you have the latest updated version on electrum so just in case that you don't get hacked and you have the latest version of electrum because we want to ensure that we have it now in this case how do you have to use the basics here on electrum well it's actually pretty easy so if you want to send some bitcoin to a different person or to a different wallet you just need to choose the send here and provide the details so in this case you need to provide the address of the recipient and also some description that you want to send and the amount that you want to send. Now, if you want to send all of your BTC or MBTC here, just click on max here and just hit on save. Now, in this case, if you want to clear that, click on here, clear here, and you should be able to clear that. Now, also, if you want to receive some Bitcoin, go to the receive section here and you want to add a description here. So maybe I want to say, um, uh, send me Bitcoin and we want to enter the requested amount here so let's just say it is going to be the amount that we want to say and we want to indicate the expiry date so we could choose 10 minutes one hour day and week so this is how long it's actually going to last so let's just say one hour here click on ok and click on request now from here what we need to do is we just need to share our address or uri here so if you want to use your uri going to the uri section if you want to use address choose this one uh but in this case you can go ahead and do that but you also have the option here to use a qr code if you want to as well now in this case you just need to share whatever here so maybe a uri or a qr code you should be able to share that and receive some bitcoin into your account now, if you want to view your history, just go to the history tab here and you should be able to see your transactions. And that's about it. So that's our the basics and beginner things that you should know here and what you do to do for you to set up and use your Electrum wallet. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.